We now have the lowest testosterone rates in history. America's birth rate is going down. We've gone too far with this. Hey, if you want to know one of the main culprits of low erections, of low testosterone, and ED, then stay tuned because today we're going to talk about sugar. I'm going to tell you about the history of sugar and why it's messing up your erections. And hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B. And for the last 22 years, I've been a men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And as always, we got to get your sexual health game up. And you got to know about this sugar because it's very important. I got to know. And so today specifically, I'm going to talk about why the food manufacturers are spiking your food with sugar and the effects that it has on your body. And of course, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get rid of this issue. Hey, and of course, I got to give a shout out to my man, Pete Snow. Yo, my man, keep doing the good work. And Michael D. Anderson, beating down that type 2 diabetes. That's what I like to hear, man. Keep it up. And of course, if you like what you hear, go ahead hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell. And we're about to hop into story time where Uncle B is going to break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, now it's story time with Uncle B. And we talking about some things you need to know. I'm gonna hook you up with some game. We talking about the legend of Sweet Dick Willie. At least my moms didn't name me Sweet Dick Willie. Uh -huh. They called him Sweet Dick Willie because he could talk that talk and slang that thing. That's how he got the name, Sweet Dick Willie. But there's a problem with the name Sweet Dick Willie, which is a Sweet Dick Willie. He was already getting more cakes than a preacher at the church bake sale. Who? Uh, Sister Jenkins got icing on them cakes. Mmm, 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 bless her. Cause you see, over time, Sweet Dick Willie just kept getting more sweets served up to him. And you know how this game goes. Yo, can I spit some bars for you real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to talk about how his teeth is game went down the drain, brain cells got lame, lost all his game. Them fine DC women stopped calling his name. Now, you get what I'm talking about. The moral of the story of Sweet Dick Willie is, player, you're going to have to stick around to the end. The game is so not told. Pimpins. Okay, that, that was, that was interesting. What? Sugar consumption has skyrocketed in the United States for years. Just look at the chart. Now, where did all this come from? Well, in India, in around the year 1400, well, they took sugar cane, figured out how to turn it into molasses, and then crystallized the molasses so it could last for freaking ever. So what are you gonna do with this now new sugar? Well, it got taken over to Europe, and Europe got addicted. And of course, when new lands were discovered, it was like, hey, we can set up headquarters over here and make the most addictive substance on the earth to humans and just sell it. Now, think about that. I said the year 1400, so as the 2.5 million years that humans have been around, if we just condense that to 100 years, just 100 years, that's one millisecond in our existence. So our genetics aren't designed to deal with sugar. So, of course, this new thing is messing with our hormones. Our hormones are changing because of our sugar addiction and because of our habits. With sugar affecting our hormones like that, we are now hormonally modified men. Mmm, that's not good. When sugar spikes your insulin, your testosterone, and your growth hormones go down. You know when somebody say, it's my thyroids. Yeah, your thyroid hormones go up. So do your testosterone and your glucagon. So basically they're going up so they can put your body back in a homeostasis because you have too much insulin, too much sugar. There is an epidemic of sugar lowering testosterone around the world and maybe even in you, sweet dick. I heard they call you sweet dick Willie. And of course, what controls insulin the most? Your diet. So let me go ahead and break down sugar really quick for you. Americans get about 22 teaspoons of sugar a day. That's a lot. That would be 141 pounds of sugar. The Japanese, they get 
four teaspoons a day. The World Health Organization says you should only get six grams of sugar a day. Of course, sugar gives you metabolic syndrome. We're talking about heart disease, high blood pressure, and of course, diabetes. So just to run it down, all sugar comes from plants. Refined sugar is just sugar. Sugar cane with all the fibers taken out of it. And there is no difference between types of sugar. It doesn't matter if it's honey, brown sugar is just sugar with molasses in it. Now, the sugar in fruits is different because it's coming with nutrients and vitamins. If you're already having problems with sugar in your diet, sugar in your life, switching over to fruits is better, but fruit still has a lot of sugar in it, so you want to lower that down as much as possible. So, sugar drinks are the worst because it's just going directly into your system and just causing havoc. Just realize that 75% of all processed foods have sugar added. Why is that? Because it's a preservative. We're talking about everything from ketchup to spaghetti to bread, and even healthy brown cereal has like that three teaspoons in it. So cereal, you definitely wanna watch. And the thing to remember is that if it tastes sweet, then it has sugar in it. Your body's gonna react, it's gonna release more insulin. So all of this goes into this whole thing of how sugar is low in testosterone and we're now running into much more bigger problems. We now have the lowest testosterone rates in history. America's birth rate is going down and 25% of children have type two diabetes. We've gone too far with this. Not like this. Not like this. So really quickly, some tips so you can lean back away from the sugar. First of all, just be aware of it. And you wanna get sexy in the kitchen, make your own food so you don't have to worry about somebody else tossing in something else. Don't tempt yourself, keep the stuff away from you. Don't bring it in the house. And of course, read the labels. And the more labels that you're reading, like, oh, they added sugar to this, oh, they added sugar to that. Get food that doesn't have labels, fruits and vegetables. This got veggies in it, aspartame. It really takes about a good 10 days to break a sugar addiction, so, if you can get your 10 days in, you're gonna be good. And of course, even when we're talking about the drinks, we know we gotta cut out everything. Just, just the coffee, the sugar. <laughs> get over yourself. What's wrong with you? So fellas, it comes down to this right here. The moral of the story is, don't be a sweet dick. What's wrong with you? Get your life together, get the sugar out. Uh. Cause you can go ahead and ask your girl, you can't do nothing with a sweet dick. Mm -mm. So the question of the day is, if you have the choice between eating a dessert or having sex, which one are you choosing? Is it pound cake or sweet cheeks? Hmm. Let us know in the comment section below. Hey, and I gotta give a shout out to George Smalls. Hey, I appreciate you watching and you're shouting out the channel. Please continue. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. And for everybody else, if you haven't done it already, what you waiting for, plan? What are you waiting for? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.